Hi, I'm Tamir from Taddy Brothers, and in this video I will show you how to connect a wireless parking sensor system that features front and rear sensors. This 8 sensor system comes with a brain, a display, and 8 sensors, 4 for the front and 4 for the back. For this demonstration, I'm going to use I'm going to show you guys the display version, but this is also available in the speaker version. The installation is the same if you got either the speaker or the display version of this. I like the display better just because I feel that the speaker is a little more crisper. And the price difference wasn't that much different there. The brain when installing it this is the first part of any of these installations. You want to be mindful of where you put it. You want to put it um, in a dry spot, usually in the trunk, but keep in mind that all of the cables for the sensors end up feeding into the brain here. So you want to think about that before you find a place for it. The brain itself has multiple sockets. Here are the four sockets for the sensors, and the, this is the socket here for the harness itself. The first four are designated for the four front sensors and the last four sockets are for the rear sensors. The socket that you see right here, that one is where the harness plugs into the 12 volts. As for the sensors themselves, you get two, sen two types of sensors when you buy an 8 sensor system. With the uh, One of them has a really long cable like you see here and one of them is shorter. The longer cable is meant to go in the front of the vehicle and the shorter cable is going to go in the back, right? You don't need as much slack, so it makes it a cleaner install. When you're installing the sensors themselves, keep in mind that you want to keep them 18 to 26 inches above the ground, vertically center in the bumper, and you're going to use the drill bit that comes with it. If you upgrade it to our rubber sensors for a chrome bumper, you're going to want to get the chrome bumper drill bit for it as well. This system is compatible with different types of sensors that we have. So the installation would be the same. Then you have the display portion, which again, the installation is similar to that of the speaker itself. That has one cable coming out of it with a positive and a negative. Find the place where you want to mount it. I'd usually give it a little slack, but some people like to put this above their mirror. Other people in front put it in front of their steering wheel or on the dash next to their windshield. And then thread this cable through the vehicle to some kind of 12-volt power source. Then finally, we have the harness that, that plugs into the brain itself. The red cable in the harness itself connects to the con to a 12 volt power source. The black connects to the ground. It's very easy to do, but some people confuse it and connect it to the reverse light or the brake light. This has to connect to a constant power source because the brain constantly needs to operate this way the triggers decide which sensors are being used, the front or the back. Then you have these triggers right here. One of them is a pure white cable. That's the one that connects to the brake light. And then you have the black and white cable. It's like a mixture of them. And that's the one that connects to the reverse light. I want to put this together for you guys so you can see, get the concept of how it works. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to connect the harness right here. Like that. We're going to connect the sensors. I'm going to use the, the last one and the first one. So you see that I'm using the different zones of the sensors themselves. Like this. And now I'm going to plug the rest of the parts into the 12 volts. While I'm doing this, take a look at this picture here. One of our uh, clients recently installed it on their Jeep. I thought it was really nice the way they did it, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. So when you plug this in, you might notice that there's no light on the sensor itself on the display itself like this it's plugged into the 12 volts now but there's no light don't worry about that because as soon as it triggers it'll turn on so to, to show you how it works we're using the pure white one and okay see this light is now on now I'm gonna simulate the other one the black and the white one that you see here and now we're doing the other side so here's one side, I'll try to get it so it stands still for you guys. All right, this is one right there that you saw. And then we're gonna do this one right here, like that. Okay, so both of them turned on. Remember, you actually get 10 seconds once you disconnect it, like you see here, now nothing's connected to it. That lets you park, or if you're in bumper to bumper traffic, or if you're double parking, that's what keeps it on. That's why the brain needs a constant power source. So let me go over the connections one more time. First you have the brain, you're going to mount it in a nice dry spot, you're going to be mindful of where the cables connect to. 
the the front the first four sockets of the brain go to the front sensors and the last four connect to the rear sensors this is the harness right here you see the you plug it into the harness socket there's the red one is the 12 volts the black cable is to the ground then you have the trigger wires the black and the white connects to the reverse light and the white cable connects to the brake light the final part of the installation is the display where you have the um, the display, you just find a place where you want to put it, leave some slack so you can move it around, then plug it into thread it to the vehicle and connect it to some kind of 12 volt power source. If you have any questions, you can call us at 866 966 5550. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.